going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. God's got the live stream coming up in about an hour and I'm um, looking forward to it, especially after doing stories like the one I'm about to do right now. Um, a few months ago, I did a story that really, really, really got to me. And uh, I stayed in this story for a little while. And a lot of you guys had joined this channel from this story. And the story is about this young lady right here. This is four-year-old Sequoia Samuels. There's been an update with these two people right here that were in charge of her care. The woman up here is Brittany Jackson. She's the mother of said Sequoia Samuels. This other guy right up there is Jalen Hobson. He's the boyfriend who beat Sequoia Samuels to death. Now, if you guys don't know about this story, I don't really want to get all the way into the particulars. I got a lot of videos in my vault. In my vault. You guys can check them out. I'll give you a, a short video to catch you guys up with a little bit of what happened. And then we'll come back and talk about the present news that just came out yesterday out of Memphis. We're hearing from the paternal grandmother of Sequoia Samuel. Four-year-old Sequoia was reported missing last Thursday. Friday, her remains were found, and investigators say her mother confessed she had been dead for several weeks. Action News 5's Sydney Hawkins shares how Sequoia's father's family is coping. Because if you think she was trash, you're sadly mistaken. Emotions still high, with several questions remaining centered around the death of four-year-old Sequoia Samuels, whose remains were found Thursday night in North Memphis. It came after an alleged false missing persons report and an intense day of search efforts. I knew in my mind that wasn't true, but I was maybe thinking somebody may have kidnapped her or whatever. I don't know. Sequoia's mother and her alleged boyfriend are charged in this case. Four-year-old favorite, my favorite girl. A ring doorbell video shows the boyfriend asking if neighbors had seen the little girl wandering in the streets the day she was reported missing. According to the mother's arrest report, she told police Sequoia had been dead for weeks. Right before Mother's Day, I had talked with her. Uh, I think Brittany had called me and uh, she had got me to speak with her uh, and I was able to tell her I love her. And I know that was, um, I know she was live then. Sequoia's mother, Brittany Jackson, is charged with aggravated child abuse, among other charges. This comes as no surprise to her grandmother, who says the four-year-old often visited her with bruises and burn marks. Still, she says the pain is unbearable. Every time she come to my house, she would cry to uh, not go back with her mother, and I didn't understand why. I was so busy working, working, working. But, oh God, how could you... I don't understand. In Memphis, Sydney Hawkins actually. All right, guys, that talks about a little bit about the death of four year old Sequoia Samuels. And uh, some news recently came out yesterday about the, uh, them being indicted and what their charges of them being indicted are. And I hope the justice comes swiftly and harshly for these two individuals for doing what they did to this little baby. Check this out. Breaking news first at five tonight, we have just learned a Shelby County grand jury has indicted a Memphis mother and her boyfriend for the death of a four-year-old girl who was found dead back in June after a day-long search for the missing toddler. You probably remember this story. Brittany Jackson and Jalen Hobson facing charges now of first-degree murder, abuse of a corpse, child abuse, and false reporting, according to court records, for the death of Sequoia Samuels. According to court affidavits, Brittany Jackson admitted her daughter Sequoia had been dead for weeks before they reported the little girl was even missing. Jackson remains in the Shelby County Jail on a $500,000 bond. Hobson's bond is set at $50,000, and he also remains in custody tonight. All right, guys, um, that was the news that they've been found uh, worthy of first-degree murder by a grand jury and indicted on such. I hope they get the full spear, not just the tip. It's unexcusable what they did. I've won over this multiple times before. This little girl had a disability. 
She was being fed with a feeding tube. The lies they told, the manhunt that ensued, searching for a baby that was in the trash can the whole time after they made sure they watched the police search the trash and move on to the next spot. They go and take Sequoia Samuels, who was buried in multiple trash bags in the house, hidden, and put her outside like they wasn't going to get caught. The boyfriend beat this girl to death in front of the mother while she sat there and watched and helped put her in bag plastic bags and they sat her in the damn corner. Grandmother is crying and all this stuff, but the way the news article was, was written, it kind of looked fake to me a little bit and it's messed up to say that, but I mean, some of y'all was thinking that. The baby would come over there, cry, and not want to go home. Had bruises on the baby and burn marks multiple times. I was too wrapped up in work. Didn't put two and two together. All I'm saying is she's not here. And the cries of children sometimes they go unanswered if they even make noise at all because they're so fearful of what can happen to them if they open their mouth or when they do, if they don't open their mouth. Let me put it that way. May the little girl rest in peace. I'll be keeping up with this story. This came out late yesterday. I didn't get a chance to see it, but um, it's messed up. I do these stories. A lot of people get upset. You know, we on this new thing now where people say, and I'm going to say this before I leave out of here. A lot of people say, oh, well, I'm leaving. Oh, you got an agenda. I do to spread the word. It's an agenda I do have. The people say, I see your agenda, your hidden agenda. There's no hidden agenda. Everything I got, I was up right out in the open. My stories are not to make black people look bad or anybody look bad because my stories aren't always about black people. It's about problems that we have. A lot of them affect black people. This is not a pro-black channel. This channel, I would do news on everybody. As long as it's news and something we can learn from. It, whether it's home invasions, child abuse, Elderly abuse, so on and so forth. It's a problem. I'm going to address it. Especially something that can befall any of us or all of us. This channel right here is for those that want to be here. Those that want to uh, think. And those that can possibly learn something. How do we fix problems out here if we don't? address them head on. Just think about that. Not saying nothing about something that's an issue that affects everybody doesn't just uh, make it go away. It makes it grow stronger. If you have cancer in you and it goes unattended, it what? Spreads. So it is evil. So people take a stand and remove it. By any means necessary. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. Be here because you want to be here. If not, the door is right there. And I did appreciate you coming in for a little bit. I'll see you guys in the next video. The live stream is coming up in about an hour. Take care.